Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. Sunday. Uh, first of all, I've just picked up this Caitlin Clark Sports Illustrated for Kids. Amazing autograph. Look at how cool that looks. Caitlin Clark is a superstar in college, and I know I'm going to get comments about women's sports because people are like that and have to say something negative, but uh, Caitlin Clark is averaging like 28 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals per game on good percentages, and her percentages are actually down this year. I think uh, she's going to be a megastar in the WNBA. I don't follow the WNBA, I don't watch it. But I do collect early and rookie autographs of the goats. So I'm really excited to add this to my, P my PC. Uh, man, I got up late today, almost 9 a.m. It's the latest I've slept in years, maybe. We had three girls spend the night last night with my daughter. And we ended up taking them out roller skating late. We didn't get home until 11 p.m., I wasn't asleep until almost 1 a.m. This is not like me at all. So it's been a lazy day. Um, one thing I'm really into, one of the things I PC is the autographs of Topps Chrome Black. It's a series that started in 2020, continued last year, and a new series, new set of them is coming out this coming Friday, I guess, the 16th. Is that Friday? Yeah. Um, and so I'm really interested. I, I, they've had pre-sales, pre-orders going on for a few weeks at this point. Um, and I really want to pre-order one. And so I've been waiting. What's in the set? But there's no checklist. And, you know, you're talking, when the pre-order started, they were selling for about 190 per box. And that's only four cards. And uh, $190 for four cards, do the math. That's a lot of money per card. And you're kind of hoping that you get one of the good autographs. And so I was wondering, who are the good autographs? How many are good? Because there are a lot of junky autographs I'm not interested in in the first two sets, the last two years. And so I, you know, I wanted to know who's, whose autographs are in this set. But uh, I've been looking for a few weeks now and I can't find a checklist. Now in the meantime, pre-orders have dropped down to like $140, $145. That's shipped. There's no shipping fee. That's including the shipping. So prices have come down pretty significantly. What is that? 25, 30%. Um, but I wonder if once that checklist comes out or once they get released, are the prices going to go up? Probably not. But I worry that uh, I order it and what's, ha what's been happening in every set is the autographs get watered down. I don't even know if all of the autographs are on card. In the first two sets, they were all on card, which is what I love. I love the look of them. I mean, just look at this. It's just, for me, it is a beautiful card. And it comes encased in this solid case. Very cool. So I collect the Hall of Famers and anybody that I think could be a Hall of Famer or like uh, Nomar Garcia Parra has one and I would love to get one of Nomar's. So I love this set and I don't want it if they've moved to sticker autos, which a lot of sets are doing. And the only pictures so far that they've shown are Shohei Otani on card, which I would love to have that card. Uh, Julio Rodriguez, love to have that. That's on card as well. And Bobby Witt Jr., the Super Futures card, I think is his. And I'd love to have that too. But when they're only showing like 3% of the autographs, I'm worried that the other ones are like J.D. Martinez or other players that I, I really don't have any interest in collecting. Um, or, like I said, that maybe they've moved to sticker autos with some of them which to me is a scourge in the industry. You know, they're too, too lazy, too time constrained 
to get a, uh, a real autograph, to get an autograph on a card. That's not my thing. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you pre-order sealed wax before you know what's in the set? Before you know if it could contain something that you want? Do you just assume that they've put in the best players, the best autographs, uh, game-worn patches, for instance. I don't think Topps Chrome Black does game-worn patches. I don't collect patches because I think that's another really terrible thing that's happening in the industry right now. But the on-card autographs of top players and Hall of Famers is my jam. That's what I want. And I just can't bring myself to say, yeah, I'll drop all this money. Uh, once they come out on Friday, I'll look at them and I'll probably uh, take some of my Christmas money or whatever and buy a box. Hopefully the prices continue to come down. Like a box of 2021 is going for about $110 right now. And they, honestly, these autographs are super cheap. Look at how awesome that looks. And that's not a refractor. This is, this one is, this Larry Walker is numbered to 99. I think I paid like $25 for that, which is sick. Anytime I can get an autograph, like this Caitlin, Caitlin Clark was super cheap because she's not in the WNBA yet, and I don't think a lot of people have really heard of her. But, uh, yeah, let me know. I'd, I'd be really interested to hear what you think about pre-orders. Do you need the checklist? Do they usually have checklists? I actually went back and looked at last year, and the checklist was released. It was posted on Beckett and what is it, cardconnection.com or whatever it's called, the day after the set released. And it just, it's puzzling to me that the Tops would say, we're going to allow pre-orders. And I assume Tops is allowing it. I don't know what the, how that's happening with these vendors, but, um, or retailers. But they allow pre-orders but they refuse to release the actual checklists of who and what is in the sets. Now, I know that they have the standard refractors. I think they added another color to the rainbow. I think I, think I remember seeing that there are 11 now instead of 10. That doesn't matter to me. That stuff is unimportant. I, I just want the autographs. That's all I've got for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you're new here, daily sports card content, click that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.